Donald Trump does not want to fix this problem. Be clear about that. He has no interest or desire to actually fix the problem. He talks a big game about border security, but he does not walk the walk. Earlier this year, everybody here knows, earlier this year we had a chance to pass the toughest bipartisan border security bill in decades. But Donald Trump tanked the deal. Because he thought by doing that it would help him win an election. But when I am president, I will sign the bill. So Arizona, ours is a fight for the future, and it is a fight for freedom. Across our nation, we are witnessing a full-on assault against hard-fought, hard-won freedoms and rights. The freedom to vote. The freedom to be safe from gun violence. The freedom to love who you love openly and with pride. And the freedom of a woman to make decisions about her own body and not have her government telling her what to do. And on that last point, understand how we got here. When he was president, Donald Trump handpicked three members of the United States Supreme Court <laughs> with the intention that they would overturn and undo the protections of Roe v. Wade. And as he intended, they did. And now, in over 20 states in our nation, there is a Trump abortion ban. Many like Arizona, with no exceptions even for rape or incest. And just yesterday, in a press conference, we got a fresh reminder of what Donald Trump's Project 2025 agenda would do. It would ban medication abortion in every state. But we are not going to let that happen. Because we trust women. Yeah. And when I am President of the United States and when Congress passes a bill to restore reproductive freedoms for every woman in America, I will sign it into law. So listen, here's the thing that we all know. <laughs> here's the thing we all know. Generations, generations of Americans before us led the fight for freedom. Now, the baton is in our hands.